look uh, we are uh, today we had a, a very longish meeting with uh, all of the important players in the on the internet on the indian internet uh, the intermediaries the, uh, that's how we refer to them the internet intermediaries and we have raised the issue uh, of deep fakes with them uh, as you are aware uh, the honorable prime minister has raised that issue that deep fakes are uh, deeply disruptive it can create uh, divisions and uh, all kinds of disruptions in communities and families and therefore deep fakes are a very very clear and present danger to the safe and trusted internet that is our uh, goal and our policy way back i reminded them today i made a presentation to them and i reminded them that way back from october 2022 the government of india prime minister narendra modi ji's government has been alerting them to the threat of misinformation and deep fakes which are part of misinformation the intermediaries of today all agreed that the current it rules and the under the it act provide for adequate compliance requirements on their part to deal with deep fakes even as we speak to a future regulations and a future law which is uh, certainly required given that our it act is 23 years old it was emphasized to them again to which they have agreed that the current law and the current act and the current rules under 31b5 provides for compliance requirements by the platforms on misinformation patently false information and deep fakes this has been agreed to by the platforms i have urged them today and have said that we will uh, follow it up with an advisory and a directive that all platforms must align their and transform their terms of use with their users to be consistent with the 12 areas that are prohibited on the indian internet under 31b rule 31b and the platforms have agreed in 7 days to ensure that harmonization and that alignment so that every user on every platform is aware that when they use a platform the platform intends to be a safe and trusted platform and the platform will not tolerate these 12 types of content 12 types of information that have been prohibited under the IT act and the IT rules the platforms have agreed to that and we have further informed the platforms that from today onwards meti and the government of india will nominate a rule 7 officer and will take a 100% compliance expectation from all the platforms in the 12 harms that have been rail, laid out you know way back in october 2022 that is today the law of the land uh, as far as harms is concerned that includes deep fakes and also includes csam child sexual abuse material also includes various other categories of content that are prohibited on the indian internet so we look forward to working in partnership with these platforms and we will look forward to an era where they will be a lot more responsible and not more responsive to the uh, expectations under the law and lot more compliant we have made it very clear today that uh, we will be expecting 100% compliance of the law and we will use our enforcement tools to ensure that the 100% of the law is complied with so there is a platform that